Uh, so let's see how we can integrate with high charts and within a web page. High charts is a completely JavaScript enabled uh, integration and we can see it's highly interactive. In this case we've used a spline to be able to plot the a graph which gives a nice smooth line. And I've also integrated uh, some equations. This gives us a linear equation. This is a quadratic one and we can change any of the values and it should show different values here. We can use a link so you can see here uh, if you look at the bottom of the screen down here and then we're passing some values in this case we're passing some X values and then Y values plotting that graph. There's another equation here's the sine X cos X and in this case uh, we've set up that the values of quadratic equations are 1, 2 and minus 1 purely through the link. This one is 2, 0 and then minus 1. And then this one we've actually set up a, a linear equation with m equal to 3 and c equal to 4. I can also plot here values see there that's that's how it that's how it plots. You can also get an export to a, a graphic file or a PDF. So let's have a quick look at the source code just to see what it looks like. And we can see here there's the main JavaScript integration. There's the data that we've just actually created. And there's the two main JavaScript components that we use and the rest is just standard HTML. So the great thing that we that we do with uh, pie charts is that we select the chart that we want. So I'm actually using something like this one here. This is a spline. And we usually just go to JS, uh, JS Fiddle to be able to check our code. Let's just copy in the code. Uh, that seems to be working fine. So with inside here we can modify anything that we want and run it. And then we can see here that we can actually have a little look to see what our graph actually looks like and to check for any errors. Okay. So often we would we would just create a little test harness for it and then be able to check the code. Right, so let's have a look at the code. First we have a look at the, the, main, the main page and this is what uh, MVC ASP.NET 4 looks like. Uh, mainly HTML code apart from here where we actually see this is the partial page that we actually create and it's the partial page that we actually update. So send inside there we have there's our JavaScript and then what we do is we use a, a view bag be able to fill the data up. So that's going to be filled up with the data that goes into here. Okay, so what we've got to do is take the x and y values and put them together with the square brackets and the comma between them. Next, we can see we're integrating the JavaScript and uh, put it on to, into the scripts folder. And then I've created TD here is a column between here and here is one column and between here and here is the other column so if you look at our page you actually see that lays out this is one TD and this is the other TD so I've, I've isolated the chart into the other TD okay so this this is where we we draw the graph to and we've just made it 400 by 400 pixels Various other things like to be able to get the value of M 
there's where we get the x-axis values and the y-axis values here from the form. But basically, when when we, we we do a post, then it will go into our our controller. So in this case, we are in the calculators folder here, and here are our files here and here. So we then go to our controller. So our controller is here and in this case we're in the calculators folder so we're here so the two the two main actions that we've got is a get which is a which is when the page is refreshed and then a post when a button is clicked on the page it will create a post into the page okay so let's look at just a very simple very simple example. In this case, the default when we load the page, just a very simple load. We can see here it draws this simple graph here. One, two, three, four. And all I've done is I've created an X and a Y array. And then I've created a little method which will combine the two of these strings together, parse them, and then to be able to create the format that's required for the spline. So there's the method there. Very simple. So we'll just run that and then we should find that it'll parse the x and the y string and then put them together into that square bracket format that we actually seen. This takes a little minute to load. So this is what we're looking at here. Okay, so we'll go to our page. Go down here, and then this will do an HTTP GET into the page. So then it calls up there. So we can see there's our X values, there's our Y. And unfortunately I can't press the F10 because it will stop my screen record. So what I'll do is I'll just run it to here. And we can see that x-axis values has three values along with y-axis. And all this will do here, here is to actually fold these two values together till we get that. So we should find that when we go back here, that we fill up the graph component and then the X and the Y are the values that are actually shown on the page. So we continue that on, and this is what we get. So the values of X and Y have been displayed there, and then the chart has been filled up here. If we look at the source, and then we see here that's actually what's been created. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll fire a button actually on the page. So let's say we click on this one here. So we see there that's, that's broken here. And um, we should find that one of the buttons, button 2 in this case, has been clicked on. So we should find that it goes to here. When we run it. And it does. And then I have an equation here which will take uh, a method here which will take a value of m and c and again do the same thing and to be able to create the the, the values 
that we want. Okay, so that's shown an example of integrating with high charge.